skates, my tablets, grand TV skates. Five-year-old Joy Ndoku is the second of three girls. School is part of her daily routine. It's already past seven in the morning, and although the school term is coming to a close, she has to be at the school. A sister's success is sick. It's probably malaria, an infection endemic in southwestern Nigeria as in other tropical regions of Africa. Success won't be going to school today and may be home for the next few days. Her mom will be taking her to a health facility later in the day. Joy lives in a one-bedroom apartment with her parents and two sisters in Iloro, Lagos State. Baby Grace is only one month old. The father of these lovely girls is Francis Njoku, popularly called Pasta. I gathered, though, that he's an assistant pastor in a Pentecostal church in real life, so the nickname is suitable then, right? This is a story of Francis, who, like other fathers in Lagos, hustled to make a living and raise their families. I met him at his work base, Yanoikwaja, where he does one of the most seemingly embarrassing jobs. He sells rat poison. I was fascinated by his enthusiasm and bravery. I needed to know what motivates him to do this and how his work affects his family. Apart from my church, this is another way that I succeed. In order to take care of my children, I'm so busy in the morning. Because I know Bible, <laughs> our Bible tells us that there is no food for a lazy man. So, when we make any step, it's only God. So this is what we do. Sometimes people don't understand. Since Success can't go to school today, Joy's mom helps her get ready for school while Francis prepares and packages the goods for the day. This one now, this one is the Fustosin. This is tablet. This is the major one. And this, this is push out to support the tablet. And this is commando also to support it, to empower it, so that it will, it, it will be able to cash up and work for what you are using it for. This one alone cannot do it. But some people use only this ones, and it becomes a failure. But I will not use only this one, because people have people from different places that come, just like that place, they will locate me there, they will come there to get the right one. So everything with the biscuits, like how much? That biscuit is 200 naira. It's 20 pieces. Just 200 naira. The biscuit is not too cost. But the major one is this straight one. Like this ones. If you buy this one 1,000, you get the plastic 1,000. You get this one 1,000. You get this one 1,000. That is 4,000. Then you make make sales, and that biscuit also two hundred naira. Then you buy nylon. You buy nylon to arrange it. That nylon will not be more than three hundred naira. Then you say everything to produce is four thousand five hundred naira. Then you may sell six six thousand. You understand? If you make six thousand naira sales. You will transport yourself, you eat, and the children will eat. Then after you, everything, you will be able to save. If it is 500 or 300, you will keep it down for our job. So that Joy doesn't run too late, Francis walks her at a very fast pace to school. They walk briskly for about 15 minutes. We took a look at Joy's class as Francis discusses school bills with Joy's teacher.
Francis is ready to leave. It's about 9 a.m. His bag is packed and ready, all his wares tucked safely behind him. We stopped a while to chat with Francis' wife. Pretty and calm, she tells us about Joy. Joy is somebody, as in, she don't usually mix with people. She likes staying on her own. So, but she, she's a brilliant girl. She likes writing because sometimes when they come out from school, she will tell me that, ah, mommy, my auntie gave me homework. Oh. She said I should do it. If I did not do it, she would beat me. So if, if I, I would say, ah, sit down and do your homework, she said, ah, mommy, come and help me. And she's a girl who likes writing. I mean, she's good in that. I was actually impressed about how much Francis gives her to feed the family daily. Yeah, we met at Emo uh, State. So, from there I came to Lagos. They just came for prayer. So, that was why I saw him. <laughs> Destiny joined us together. He takes care of them properly. Because for example now since yesterday that success is known, he's the one as in doing some things. At night he wake up, he will check her. As in he's okay. And he gives me every day. Mm, two thousand, sometime two five. It depends what we need at all. Yeah. Dweller Stars is situated in the heart of Agege, Lagos. The school occupies a three-bedroom flat converted into four classrooms. Joy is a nursery one. Mrs. Sonwolu is a head teacher and doubles as Joy's class teacher. Joy is a reserved person. She doesn't mingle well with kids. She's the type that doesn't like talking much. But when it comes to um, her performance academically is below her range. But we are working on that and there is improvement. Because I, I just started working with the school, but I've noticed some improvement in her ever since I came on board. Um, the problem I bring from her home like this morning when she came in, I had to ask her to give me her homework book. I discovered that she didn't do the homework I gave to her. And then that has been happening constantly. When she takes home work home, she'll bring them back without doing it. And it's not helping issues. It's like there's nobody out there to actually assist them with their work. It might be probably because our parents don't understand the homework. They don't know how to go about it. She has about 20 something thousand to pay now. Yes. How much has she paid? She has paid about 9,000 Naira because they are going for previous term. They've actually carried over from first term. Our school fees always comes in late. Whenever our father promises to pay, he always makes sure he fulfills is played. Now, let's visit Francis at Iyano Ipaja. He looks very happy as a cheerfully calls passersby to patronize him. He has rat poison hanging all over him on the vest he's wearing. Three fifty now. I'll give you two. Okay, thank you, boss. I know you well, no thank you. Although it's a sunny day, a smile crosses Francis' face as he remembers meeting the beautiful lady who is now his wife. I saw my wife in a dream. That very girl. That my wife. And God told me that this girl is going to be a woman. I say. If, if it is true, let me pray. And when I came back to Lagos, I pray. Anytime I pray, I will see her in the dream. He said, no, 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 no. He said, you never finish school. You never do this. You never do that. Along the line, I was praying. After some time, God confirmed me. It is through this thing that I'm doing that I raise money. 
that I'm able to go and see the family and do some other necessary things. He shares with me his dreams for his daughters. What would he want them to be? Actually, I only make a foundation for them. It's God that knows what they will be. I will be a father to them. Like I will train them in school and I will guide them. And I will teach them the word of God. But whether they will be a doctor or a lawyer or a pilot, it is when they grow their own destiny. But I will just be a guardian. So for this business, when do you think you can build a house or buy a house? Yes, I can. I can build a house. Even I'm looking towards a But Some chemicals that we are buying one Naira. Now they have put money on it. That is the area that is weighing me down. Lack of chemicals for production. But assuming there's somebody that will sponsor you, say come. More people will benefit from it. Before you look down on anyone, remember they have a story, a reason for their hustle. The Njokos are not wealthy, but they are a contented family with great hope for a better future. And children are the future.